Mastering English Intonation Patterns Hello, English language learners. Welcome back to our comprehensive English language learning course. In today's video, we're going to dive into an important aspect of English pronunciation and accent reduction, intonation patterns. Understanding and mastering these patterns can drastically improve your English listening and speaking skills, and make you sound more natural and fluent. Let's start by defining our main term, intonation patterns. Intonation is the music of language. It's the rise and fall of your voice when you're speaking. These patterns of pitch variation can give meaning to what you say, express your mood, or signal whether you're asking a question or making a statement. Think of it as a roller coaster ride. Your voice goes up and down, and these changes in your voice can either make the ride smooth and enjoyable, or rough and confusing for your listeners. Remember, intonation is not about how loud or soft your voice is, but about the pitch changes in your speech. Why are intonation patterns so important? Well, Intonation helps to convey meaning in English. It's not just what you say, but how you say it. For example, if you're asking a question, your voice typically rises at the end. Conversely, if you're making a statement, your voice tends to fall at the end. It can also show your emotions and attitudes, such as surprise, anger, or happiness. Intonation is a powerful tool. Misusing it can sometimes lead to miscommunication. So, mastering intonation patterns can greatly enhance your listening and speaking skills. Intonation in English typically follows a few common patterns. 1. Falling intonation. This is most common in WH questions, like, what is your name, and statements. Your voice falls at the end of the sentence. 2. Rising intonation. You'll see this in yes-no questions, like, are you okay? Your voice rises at the end of the sentence. 3. Fall rise intonation. This pattern can indicate that the speaker is not finished speaking or that they're uncertain. You'll often see this in unfinished lists or sentences. Try practicing these three patterns to start building your natural English rhythm and intonation. Thank you for joining us in this video. We hope you found our discussion on intonation patterns useful. Remember, the more you practice, the more naturally these intonation patterns will come to you. Keep listening to native English speakers and keep practicing your speaking. You're on your way to sounding more natural and fluent in English. See you in our next video, where we'll continue enhancing our pronunciation skills. Happy learning!